Welcome everyone. I am happy to see you on our Lean channel. Today we will talk about element 611 of ISO 9001 2015 standard, actions to address risks and opportunities. Before we dive into it, click the subscribe button below, not to miss our new videos. Thank you. Keep on watching, as in the end I will show you a link to a link context metrics and a cool book on Lean ISO management systems. Element 611 requires that when planning for the QMS, the organization shall consider the issues referred in 4.1, the context, and the requirements of 4.2, interested parties. The clause also requires the determination of risks and opportunities that we have to address. In one of our previous videos, Risks, we already talked about addressing these issues. If you missed that video, let's refresh our memories. We created a context matrix that addressed numerous requirements of the standard. The matrix included internal and external issues relevant to our QMS per element 4.1 and the needs and expectations of the interested parties required by Clause 4.2. Next, using SWOT analysis, we have determined the risks and opportunities related to the identified needs. Let's take a look at an example of such risk analysis for one of our interested parties, the owners. One of the owner's needs is the return on investment, or ROI. Our SWOT analysis showed that S, the strength, is the consistent good historical performance, so we shouldn't worry about this for now. Next is the W, the weakness. Here we have determined that we are missing a validated business continuity plan, so it is a risk, and we need to deal with it. Following the weakness is O, the opportunity. To improve the effectiveness of our manufacturing, we determined that implementation of lean manufacturing will significantly advance our processes. And finally, the T, the threats. We became aware of new emerging technology in the industry and determined that we must address the threat to protect our owners. So far, we have identified the risks related to a particular need of an interested party. But what are our priorities? Which risk is the most significant? Our context matrix answers these questions too. The FMIA analysis shows that the highest risks are the lack of business continuity process with the risk priority number or RPN equals 6 and emerging new technology with the same RPN of 6. So this is how our context matrix addresses the requirements of element 611 of the standard. In the following video, we will talk about how the same context matrix can help us to address element 612, planning actions to address the risks and opportunities. This is all for today, folks. Do not forget to visit our Lean website. Go to the Academy page and check out our free downloads. Among those, you will find the link to the Lean Context Matrix. Thank you for subscribing, likes, and comments. Your support helps us promote our Lean project. To learn more about Lean ISO management systems, check out my book, The Lean Revolution. You will find a link to it on Amazon below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the following videos. I hope to see you then.